dude, no! Here we go, the fastest, most powerful factory tune Mach 1 ever. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a busy weekend. So I was gonna bring you my first wide open throttle pull on the 2021 Mach 1, our new Mach 1. We're not gonna do any of that. Instead, we're gonna go right for boost. <laughs> Instead of just beating around the bush and making uh, a bunch of different crazy small videos, we're just gonna go for the glory. We're gonna go for the, the jugular action and we're going to be supercharging the Mach 1 this weekend. So, but we have to get some baseline pulls, some baseline runs so that we know what the car makes stock before we change everything. We are here at the Horsepower Factory. Uh, they've got a car that they're strapping down right now and they're going to do some hits on it and do a little bit of tuning with Daryl Winger to believe which is also who we're going to be using as a tuner as well lots of videos coming over the next couple of days guys this is exciting so anyway but uh yeah everything is changing everything is changing i'm really excited yeah they need this this thing octane booster for the silver car they're working on but uh yeah i'm not really sure if we're going to get to it in this video or not if we're going to do the unboxing of the supercharger we might make that like a part two and then like i said lots of content so make sure you are subscribe to the channel 2021 Mach 1 and we're doing a different kind of supercharger than what you might expect um, all across the internet so I don't even know if anybody has actually used this supercharger uh, on a Mach 1 yet in the world so very cool very exciting but uh, big things are going to be coming over the next couple of days we've got a lot of work to do oil pump gears and all of that but anyway let's head inside and finish up with the silver car, show you what it's doing. Then we're gonna put this thing on the rollers, see what it makes power-wise, so that way we have our baseline to show and story tell where it came from. But guys, this is the beginning. Boosted Mach 1. Uh, our braking miles are done, so we've got uh, almost 1,400 miles on it. And we're gonna go ahead and supercharge it. Some VMP Odin. It's awful quiet, it's awful quiet yeah. when I got the babies on the dyno. Yeah, I got the big boys on here. Depend. I'm, you never know. It might be a factory freak. That stock is off on What's it going to make? I don't know. It's got a 92 pulley instead of an 88. It's about 811 yeah. horsepower. Oh, what was it? Can you say 650? Uh, I don't know what's Drop it here let it roll. Uh, I'm going to say 660. Full timing. Oh, good. Yeah, solid run. There's the graph. All right, so that one is done. Time for the Mach 1. Let's see what it does. It's, it's really not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea, but you gotta, you gotta give them one credit for one thing. It's, there, it's, um, uh, I mean, but look, I mean, look at all the leather. And oh, stitching. that's, that is nice though. I mean, there's dead the console bugs. even, I mean, you gotta give credit where credit's due. It looks good. It actually does. What? It does look good. It's dude, actually, look, look dude, look. look. Look at it. Look at the console and everything. The whole dash is leather wrapped and stitched. Yeah, it's pretty good. sick. Looks good. Look at that. Look at the uh, the entertainment center. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Do you want a free Mach 1? Yeah, of course. All right. The, the Mach 1's got a very it's, unique sound. It's deep. It's got the double, the course of double X on it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, if you actually look at it, though, I say if you look at your tips, your tips are resonated too. Yep. It, yeah, it gives it a different sound. Yeah, tone, a different tone. Definitely needs headers. Yeah, I don't know. What you think? That's a perfect song for this. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? Fighter jet gray. You got you got danger zone playing on a cell phone. Yeah, well it's gonna sound here in a couple of days. It's gonna make all kinds of airplane noises. They do look good. I love them. You already sold your factory? Yeah. See what's up to me? Seventy-five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so, only modification is we got a uh, different filter here. It's That's slow. not what? What? It is going to be slow. And we have a double X pipe on the car. Stock Mach One. Otherwise, I mean, you had a thousand horsepower car, you got rid of. It. Well, I like this better actually. I dig it. I mean, yeah. I got a scrap down. I haven't ate or nothing we today. We here we go. We so this is going to be our first pull and we got the computer set up and uh, also pulling a log for Daryl Winger whenever uh, we do the tuning. So this is a good time to also get some uh, real data off of the car. So here we go, first pull. It looks so fancy schmancy sitting up there in the rollers. Twenty. Is it adding timing? Good gas? Good gas. Well, I mean, it's, it's in eight, so I mean. Yeah. So we we topped out at twenty five point two degrees of timing. Wow. Stock tune twenty five point two degrees of timing. It says real. That's real. SAE correct. We're on a Mustang Dyna too, but every time we come here, so why we keep coming back is because it's consistent, pretty much with a Dyna jet. From everything we've seen. The main thing here is yeah. to compare what it does now and what it does after the blower. Right. Because we're on a control, we're on a di same dyno. Same dyno, yep. With the blower on. So we're going to be able to see the difference between the two. Yep. So that's the main thing you have to focus on is the difference between the two horsepower numbers. Yeah. So we did pull in the one to one gear. We verified 461 horsepower, SAE correct. Well, you know, Ford has always been kind of, I mean, they could be. Dude, you, you've got over 350 <laughs> pound feet from the start of the run all the way through to them. Dude, this thing is going to love boost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll, 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 once you get the blower on, we will tell the difference between the two power, see how much power can pick up with the blower. Is this something I've always wanted to do before and after? Yeah. <laughs> 550 crank SAE. That's what it is. Factory Freak Mach 1. We did the correction factor. We ran a correction factor run, so now if the number stays the same, it's right, but the number could go up, it could go down. Right. All right, cool. Let's find out. Dude, no, it's not 500. It makes for good video. <laughs> Here we go, the fastest, most powerful factory tune Mach 1 ever. 500. What? 502. I'm just kidding. Nice drive train lost into a count. Like the, the dragon on the motor coming down. Yeah. And the brake drag, all that stuff that's in there. Man, it. It figures that in with your air temp, which is cool today, too. Yeah. And we got... Big old... Yeah. But, yeah. It, it, it's huge. Normally, it goes down. Huh. Right. And it went up. So Interesting. Now, I, at the end of the day, though, this is... A, it's, it's numbers to compare against later exactly. is ultimately the goal here. It's not to say, oh, we got this much power. It's just to have baseline, a baseline number for when we come back in about two or three days and do this again with more power. So hmm. that way we can uh, determine how much we actually picked up. So where we came from to where we finish, that way you guys can see 
what this new kit is capable of. Street tire versus street tire. Uh -oh. 500 horsepower versus 490. He's not got 500. It's not, fi horsepower. It's not 500. Come on. <laughs> well, we <laughs> it's not 500. 40 bro. You gonna run him a modified 10 R? You gonna take a modified 10 R? I will get my Never butt kicked. <laughs> I will get my butt kicked. Modifications You might need me to shift it soon. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Driver mod. Driver, Driver mod. mod, baby. <laughs> Hang on. So he did what now? The back. So this is a stock. What he's showing us is a stock. 457. 49. I mean, the torque's not far off, but yep. I mean, we're, if you go back to the four, go back to the, the, 460. the 461. Right. The torque was like 300 and something though. Yeah. But still. This is a. Yeah. It looks like a Dynapack dyno he's using. Okay. 461, 356. So I mean, either way, that's that's interesting that they're pretty close and a manual. Yeah. So in a manual, uh, because the Steeda car was, I think, about 420. Yeah, we can look it up and verify. It, yes, 10 R 10 R80. Yes. We dynoed a. I had a. Uh, remember that green car that came in? Exact identical color to my car. Yeah. It came in and it it was a manual with a Whipple, same setup as me. Came on this dyno, made 716. My car worked on the dyno, made 685. Manual between the auto and manual. Yep, it does matter. That pairs it across. But yeah. the main thing here is comparison between NA and when we get. And we've never done that. See how much we pick up. We've That's never done that. True test. So this will be the first. Here. What does the Steeda car do? I didn't. Look, I have to look. But even if you do ten percent, that's on top of that. That's forty six. That's bang, bang, bang. crank. So yeah, here we go. It's a ten R eighty. This is the Steeda car. You can check it out on YouTube, obviously. What happened? Uh, I'm just looking at your pull. Add this. Add it. Watching the stock. The stock tune add this timing in. How much timing was it getting to? Seven it? degrees so at one much, point. How much total timing? 20, you said 25? Yeah, we went to 25. 800 RPM and 359 foot pounds of torque at 4,700 RPM. And looking at the Mach 1, 409 horsepower, almost 30 horsepower more, which is awesome. So, I mean, they did 409 with a 10 R80. So, I mean, I do want to caveat, like I said in the beginning of the video, we do have a Green Filter USA filter replaced from the stock one. Is that gonna add a lot of power? Probably not. The exhaust, as far as exhaust, it's just the, the double X pipe from, from Corsa. So got rid of the resonator. Got rid of the heel. We have a blue filter and and then we have a uh, double X pipe from Corsa, and that's the only modification to the car. So maybe that helps with the 460 number, but we're splitting airs. Yeah, like I said, the difference between the two. Right. That's the reason I like using this dyno. Yep. I, get, I get to compare cars against cars against cars against cars. Usually, the uh, I've taken cars off this dyno and put it on, and, they, and the customers have put it on dyno jet, and it's made a little more power than it does on here. Yeah. The force induction cars. Yeah. Yep. So, all right. So we know where we're coming from. Uh, we've got a couple of numbers that we've shown, but I mean, regardless of whatever the car makes, it's it's all about that baseline number. So that way we have some comparison when we come back in a couple of days. And so you guys subscribe to the channel, turn in post notification bell, turn it on so you don't miss the content because the supercharger that we're going with is something new. It's something very fresh to the market. It's something that you guys are going to absolutely love. It's going to sound amazing on this fighter jet gray Mach 1 guys get ready and I'll see you in the next video